What up, y'all? Doing something a little different today. This is the Tom Bin the truck, okay? It's a tote bag, and I, to me, it's like my favorite adventure tote bag. Now, I have kids, and we go to the beach a lot, we go to rivers, and we get out. You gotta get out of the house with kids because they're actually, they're monkeys. <laughs> they know just what to do when you're out in nature. It's ridiculous, like we're inside all of these walls. Anyways, I have more than one kid. In fact, I live with five in my house because we live in two families. We're doing a co-living thing right now. The point I'm getting at is that we gotta get out of the house, man. We gotta have a daily adventure bag, and this, has become our, and the Reeves family, this has become the go-to daily adventure bag. In a daily adventure bag, you want everything you need. You want it to be able to fit all the things, okay? You want it to be comfortable to carry. You want it to be organized-y so that, you know, your daughter's stuff is over here. You know, you've got a diaper and the wipes or whatever, your son's things over here. You've got places to put the chips separate from the olives and the things for grown-ups. When you're carrying it, you really don't want things to fall out and you just want it to be sort of like, I don't know, you want it, you want to not, th the whole thing about daily bags, right? Is you don't think about them. You don't, they're transparent. They just do what they're supposed to do and you want what they do. Well, it exists. <laughs> it's this bag, the, the Tom Ben truck. This is amazing. Now, there are certain times in life that we have wanted, maybe I would love to see Tom Ben do like a bigger version of it because when we're packing up beach towels, they're not very heavy and you can fit a bunch of stuff, right? But what I found for this size is that typically any more than this, it can get kind of too heavy depending on what you're putting in it. And for our family, <laughs> we can do basically just about anything with two of these. And I like this. I like this a lot. Let me break in to, to what this thing is made out of. So this one is made out of their thicker 525D ballistic nylon, right? You can see all this great big chunky woven stuff. Look at how it stands up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like stand back, like look at, this is what I love so much. There's an actual hard piece you can kind of see in here that helps it keep its shape. I love that. And the materials that they're using here are just sensational. I have to also call out this poron, P-O-R-O-N, not porin, but poron handle. It's the, it's the, it's the padding inside the handle. Que bueno. Build quality on this stuff is excellent from Tom Bin. All of the seams are like completely finished and everything is like is, is, I don't know, everything's, everything's just like, nothing's hanging off, fraying, and loose about this. That's what I love about Tom Ben made bags. You can see on the inside here of this 525 ballistic nylon, 525D ballistic nylon, it's got like a polyurethane coating, some sort of coating that's sort of water resistant, so stuff isn't necessarily going to seep in very easily, though, you know, this isn't a waterproof bag. <laughs> the rain's gonna get in. All in all, this thing is 25 liters is how to think of it. Like here's a, here's a, here's a, like a, a beach towel, okay? Now, what I, <laughs> what I love is that it actually has three inner compartments. Some Tom Big bags, Tom Big bags, Tom Big Tom Bin bags, like the Aeronauts, I'll put a link to those in the description below at this time code. Great backpack duffel conversion bag that actually has like similarly three uh, sections but the dividers are actually removable by zippers. These ones are not. These are sewn totally in. This is made to be like perfect size for like a gallon milk jug or something like that. It originally came from their movable feast bag, which was which was a bag designed just for going to the grocery store. And th then they're like, well, what if we made it a little bit shorter so that you can easily get in and out and get your stuff. And then the handle's a bit longer so that you can carry it like basically perfectly as a tote over the shoulder like this. And I think they beefed up the material too. Like I said, there's a couple versions available on their website. You can click the link below. When you do use my link to purchase, uh, it said, it's like buying me a beer. So if you're into that, do that. If you're not into buying me a beer, please don't do that. Just go search Tom Bin truck, you'll find it. But when you do find it, you'll see that there are two, there's like basically two fabrics that's coming in. One, like it's like a 250D uh, ballistic nylon and one's the 525, I think. So it is the 525 that I recommend just cause it's burly and it's gonna last a really long time. So like I said, we're segmented with three compartments here in the bag. And then you also have front pocket, back pocket. These are the same size and these are great for throwing in things like glasses, 
my uh, my favorite beauty counter sunscreen, which is like the bougiest, super expensive sunscreen, but it like just is all natural. It <laughs> it protects you from the sun really well. And it's just like, it's not like literally, I don't know. It's just not made of stuff that is, I'm, I'm into it, deal with it. These side pockets out here, you can tell how how self-conscious I am about, <laughs> about like, listen, I can afford it, and I like to use good stuff, and I wanna put good stuff on my kid's skin, so that's what I do. I spend money on that shit, man. I'm not, a, I'm not afraid, <laughs> I'm not afraid of it. Let's do it. This little outside pocket, perfect for, whenever I go to the beach, I'm throwing this in here. Now, little unprotected from the sand, but because this thing stands up so well, I never really worry about it too much. We have a little like, normally this is the outpost. We'll have this is like the outpost and, and the blankets are set up around it. The chips are in here. So the kids are, the chips come out pretty fast. Let's be honest. The chips come out of here and they're standing right next to it. Open, sand is getting in because my daughter is too. But she's so cute. Like, what are you gonna do? Okay, I've got it loaded up for like, if I was just going to the beach by myself, maybe something like that, a little beach towel. Um, actually, we always have kids stuff in here. So I have like panties for my little girl who like, like just occasionally she just needs to change her panties, right? And wipes just in case. Hat for my son because the sun, the sun and my son. I also like, we're constantly, we've all got water bottles. Everybody's got different ones, but this is my favorite, the Camelback Shoot water bottle. I'm very particular about water bottles. I don't want them to leak. I don't want them to, I want to be able to see how much is in there. I don't need this. I don't need it to like have a hot thing and stay hot and cool. I don't need this insulative thing. It, it means I don't get very much water into the thing. I'm mostly using it for water because that's what we die if we don't have. And then uh, I, need, uh, I need a little gimmick and this has it. Look, I got the top, doesn't fall off and then it's magnetic. What? Magnets? How do they work? And then it screws down really tight. I know, you're probably getting sick of hearing me talk about the water bottle, a lot of you. Now, another thing that I've been doing is I bring my camera with me and typically I want to put that in a bag. And so this is the Bellroy sling that I've been using. I'll put a link to this in, to this in the description below. Great little, just excellent materials. You throw it over your body. You don't have to worry about anything. It's got a little, um, where is that guy? It's got a little magnetic. Uh, thing, oh, sensational, love that thing. And then it's got enough capacity for plenty, like it's got a lot of, lot of capacity for my, uh, my Fuji X100T, this old camera that I use, and I can throw in, uh, you know, I could just throw in a lot of different stuff. My phone oftentimes will go right in here with like maybe a book or a journal or something like that. But what's great about this, I know this video is about that, I just wanted to get this off my chest <laughs> or on it on my chest, you know what I mean? Because it's just, it doesn't look too stupid. You can you can carry it as a shoulder bag. It's just a little thing. It doesn't say too much, but yet there's plenty of room. There's plenty of room for lots of, like you could fit a, like a smaller book in here, you know? So I'll have a pouch like that in here with my camera oftentimes. And that's, that's just like a, trick that I found for keeping sand off of my gear. Just have other pouches that go in here. One other thing on the organization, check this out. You see this leash? Tom Ben makes these leashes and they make them of, of, of a lot of different sizes. And around the bag, you'll find these O-rings. There's five of them in this bag, okay? And what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to you know, clip one of these onto there. Maybe you clip your keys on. Oh, that's cute. I just throw my keys in the fucking pocket, man. What this is really for, this Tom Bin O-ring thing, get a longer leash, and then you have some of their pouches that you click onto it. Some of their pouches are see-through, some of their pouches are not see-through. They're all very different colors. So you know what pouches for what. What's great about this is let's say you had some pouch that had like tools, like for like maybe for cutting cheese and for opening wine bottles and for like like your basically your mini kitchen little little pouch like a camp kitchen thing. Well, let's say it was in a pouch that's on the end of this. Well, that means that this never gets separated from the bag. The pouch should never be separated from the bag. You get a longer leash. You open it up and get whatever you need out of there. Zip it up and throw it back in. What, what the O-ring is for is so that you never lose any of those little pouches. You can use a lot of pouches. You can clip them in anywhere on this bag and then you never lose it. So, you know, that's terrific because it sucks to lose your stuff.
you know? And what's so killer about this bag is I can just see everything that's in it because it's on the ground. What's cool is when you're holding it, see how tall the, the handles are? It's just for me, when I hold it, it's like maybe 10 inches off the ground. So it's easy just to drop it down and then it stands on its own. Even, with the, even when there's nothing in it, it stands on its own, right? So whatever's in there, it's still gonna be standing unless you have like some like really tall thing and it's just like... So listen, you guys, life is about adventuring. Life is about living and sometimes you just gotta get out of the house to do that. Bags like this make it so much easier for my family to just like, all right, come on, the kids are going crazy. Let's throw some chips, some water bottles, and some, you know, a hat, some sunscreen, and my camera. Let's just go. Let's just go. You do not need very much when you go to the river. You do not need very much when you go to the beach, right? And then over time, you'll learn what you need. One of the things I learned I need recently is I need an umbrella. Because when I go to the beach, I'm hiding, I'm trying so badly to hide from the sun. It's terrible. Life is an adventure. Maybe your family needs an adventure tote like this. And this isn't just for families. I'm sure lots of you kids with your, <laughs> with your turtlenecks and your NPR totes are looking at this going like, hey man, hold on, I could fit more stuff in that. It does like, it doesn't have, you can check out the, uh, the review over at matterful.co where I wrote a little bit more about the design and stuff like that of this bag. Cause Tom Bin's designs are very, you know, they're just very, they're very like parenty. They're for parents. They're for people who care more about the functionality of, in life than about the fashion of it is what it seems like. Not that this doesn't have a fashion because it does. And really the fashion here in Tom Bin is about you know, like honest materials, put together in in the simple like but but like useful way right like it would be more simple to not have these organizations things in there but because but because they need it to have a certain kind of use that's the intention behind this product they make things complicated but they still try to do it as simple as possible which is why like everybody in soft goods respects tom bim in that way so for your adventure maybe you need something like this the whole thing is, though, you don't need very much to get out an adventure. You're watching this because I don't know why. What, were you searching for something to buy? Maybe something that you're buying isn't actually going to make your life <laughs> get, get into the sort of atmosphere that you're wanting it to get into. Maybe what you're looking for is exhilaration and purpose. Maybe what you're looking for is gratitude and, and thankfulness about just being able to be in amazing natural places like the beach or the river or the lake or... Whole Foods. I personally find that having a piece of kit like this makes a lot of difference for getting out of the house, getting the kids out of the house, jumping in the Subaru and just going. Yes, the Subaru. I'm like just, I'm like a stereotype about a 37 year old dad. <laughs> the Subaru Ascent is my favorite bike. Like I've never had a good car before. This thing's like a luxury car. I love it. And I love getting my family in there and just going like, let's get the hell out of Dodge, man. Let's just go. This is a killer bag for that. Now you know my story with it. I hope your life is adventurous today. Like just literally today. Like you don't actually have to get out and go do something. You can go on a damn walk. Do you know that? Do you know how many people throughout history have like claimed that going on walks is what like is where their brain puts things together? Because it is, you're moving your body, you're doing the stuff, you're taking in the airs, the ethers, you're just on a walk. That's kind of an adventure. I like going out to nature stuff though too. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.